Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to show you a quirky little hornpipe called Johnson's. This tune is best known for its recording by Didanen on the album Anthem. And if you listen to that one, then Frankie Gavin, you'll hear, is playing his fiddle tuned up, almost a semitone, to around B flat. And uh, the main purpose of that is to get a brighter tone. But if you try uh, learning the tune, listening to him, then you'll end up playing it in B flat, which I don't think is the intention. Um, so I'm going to run through the tune uh, slowly. I'll show you various ornaments and, um, and then we'll try it up to speed towards the end. Two features about the hornpipe in general that you need to know is that the quavers that are written, they're written as straight, so uh, a phrase like is not, is not played, it's not played as even quavers, but it's da ba da ba da ba da ba, with a, a distinct swing, a, a long and a short. So that's one feature of hornpipes. Uh, they're played a bit slower than reels and uh, they have a lot of triplets. Uh, stuff like um, that is pretty typical of a hornpipe. Some hornpipes have uh, a lot more triplets than this. So let's run through the A section. And I'll show you a bit of bowing. I'm not going to go into the bowing in detail because uh, it is uh, generally a bit of a wormhole and every time I play something it uh, I bow it slightly differently. Um, but I'm going to start off with a slur. So I'm slurring the first note into the second. And then I'm slurring three. And then I'm slurring two and three. Here. The, the main aim being to get back to a down bow uh, at the beginning of the next bar. And then we've got five separate. Slur. Five separate slur, and on that um, I'm doing second finger, third finger, fourth finger, which is something you won't often do. And there's a roll on the first finger. section, the B section. Uh, so that's all quavers. Uh, because we are doing long short, long short, you've got to have some slurs, otherwise you're going to end up da 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 right at the tip. So five and three, as we did before, is a good pattern. So we're doing five separate and then the three slurs get us back uh, to the, towards the heel. And then here we've got a variation. So we're doing and then a roll on the F sharp. And that is a A sharp. Now, the, um, you can go straight into the third part, but I think normally you will go back and do the A section and B section again. And then we move on to the third part. Um, and here we're moving to D major again. And the fingering's important here. So it's one, three, and then keep that three on. So we're rocking backwards and forwards uh, with that third finger staying on, then and I think I would 
ever do one or two open string drones on there? Some of you uh, may have noticed. <laughs> some of you may have noticed the cat, who has featured in several of my videos. But this time, since she's here, she's going to feature properly. This is Whiskers. Say hello, Whiskers. The camera's over there. Look. Now out you get. <laughs> okay. Let's let's go through all three sections with the backing. in getting a copy of the dots then subscribe and uh, my email address is at the bottom of the description below so send me an email and I'll send you the dots. Uh, if you're interested I do have a full Irish fiddle course on the Academy of Folk so check that out um, and I'll see you in the next video.